G'day guys, what's going on? My name is Gareth and today we're doing a unboxing slash story video about my grandparents. Both unfortunately have passed away roughly 10 years ago or so. Uh, they ended up winning this in a raffle at the local workers club, RSL club in Newcastle, Australia, all right? Now my Nana, as you guys can see here, my Nana, Nancy Brown right there, uh, she was very, very lucky when it came to winning things at places. She won a lot of different things, such as bicycles, uh, meat, <laughs> uh, a radio, and many other things as well, okay? She won a lot of things. Uh, that's my grandfather as well. So that's Nancy and Arthur Brown. They were both in the newspaper together at one point. And that this is a photo of my mum and my, my nan, her nan, her, her mum. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's a story, right, that she won this thing. She won a few different things, and, and unfortunately, none of them, almost, almost all of them, I think, <laughs> never got used. A bicycle that she won brand new was in the shed for like 20, 30 years. I don't know. This was never used. This was never used at all. Uh, it looks like it has been opened at some point, but I haven't opened it, and I think it's brand new. So we will be checking in there in a second. There could be a gold bar in there, okay? We have absolutely no idea. She won meat. There was a meat raffle. A leg of ham. A massive leg of ham, right? Uh, unfortunately, when she, when she passed away, we went to her house in Newcastle and, and cleaned out the house. Uh, the leg of ham was, was in the, the Tucker Box freezer for 17 years untouched. Uh, it is what it is. Unfortunately, it's what it is. She kept it for a special occasion. That special occasion never never eventuated for whatever reason. She probably forgot about it, to be to be frank. She probably forgot about it, right? So, uh, yeah, we were doing some spring cleaning the other day. And we came across this, because we brought this back home to our house um, after we sold the house kind of thing at her house, you know? And we've never used this. This is completely brand new. And I know this isn't an exciting unboxing. This is, well, I mean, look at it. It's a sharp radio. It's a 16-watt QT-260AW white. It's not that exciting, I know, but it's the story behind it, right? We've never opened this. Maybe she's opened it, but then put it back in the box. Let's check it out right now. Let's see what this thing looks like. And uh, yeah, there's some writing on here. Now we don't know the specific date, but it could be, it's 1992 or question mark, 1992 or question mark. We're not too sure what this, what, what date this is, but you know, this is pretty old, okay? Nance, so Nancy Brown, she won this. Arthur Brown, did I tell you his name before? Maybe I didn't, but Arthur Brown was his name. I think I did actually, yes. Uh, won, so Nance won at work, workers club. Looks like March, Wednesday's raffle. So uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna plug this in, brand new, $15, so there we go. <laughs> it looks like this thing was 15 bucks back in the, in the early 90s, okay? So there we go, let's open this up right now and see what's inside. Can I zoom out anymore? No, I can't, okay. I'll put this on its side. Now me and my mum, we, we ended up going to Liverpool, England where my grandparents were were born and, and living in Liverpool, England. In fact, uh, my mum ended up living uh, with her parents and her sister, uh, my auntie Jan. They ended up living in, in, in Liverpool, 10 minutes away from, from John Lennon, John Lennon's house, while John Lennon was living there from the Beatles, right? She, she, my my mum literally comes from the Walton, Walton, Liverpool, Walton, all right, England. Uh, hugely famous town if you are a Beatles fan. So yeah, I wanna show you this in a second, but this was, this was basically a video that I did uh, when I came back from my England trip with, with me and my mum. And uh, yeah, it's a 47 minute video, really, really highly edited, great production value. <laughs> Look at the view count. Uh, four years ago, 235 views so far, whatever. We ended up going over there and scattering her ashes and, and his ashes on, uh, too. Uh, yeah, we, we, both of their ashes uh, in different locations where they wanted to be scattered. They didn't, they didn't quite like Australia when they, because they moved to Australia, you know, I don't know. 1965, I don't know, roughly. I'm getting it completely wrong, no doubt, but 
they, they, they were in Australia for a long time, but they didn't want to be buried here, so they we had their ashes scattered. So, yeah, go watch that video. Kind of emotional at certain loca at certain locations in the film, but yeah, I did a whole bunch of travel films all around England and Liverpool and all that kind of stuff. Go check it out if you want. Let's continue unboxing this. So, I mean, look at this. This thing looks like it's never actually been opened. It's kind of a, a cool looking uh, device. It has this uh, streamlined black, what would you call it? Once you go black, you don't go back. <laughs> Sp speaker grill? Was that what you would call it? The speaker grill? I mean, it looks kind of cool, right? There we go. So you can plug it in with the power or with batteries. Now it looks like there was a bit of a cockroach problem here at some point because you know it's been in the shed, or I don't know, her shed for many, many years. Uh, there's some, some droplets of, I don't know what they are, but they're on my table right now. A uh, bit dirty, but there you go, right? We got the, we got the brochure. Let's have a look, quick look at this and then we'll open up thing officially. Imagine if there's like a thousand dollar, a thousand dollars in money or something in here. That'd be really, really cool. But there we go. For anyone who's ever wanted to see this particular Sharp model being unboxed live on air, I mean, well, now you're getting a, getting the chance, right? There you go. What's on this side? All right, we'll close that back up. We're getting some sort of insurance warranty. Let's zoom in on this. Warranty. Sharp. Congratulations on your purchase. It was a win. <laughs> and unfortunately, it was never used. Anyway. 12-month warranty from the date of the original purchase. So, I mean, that's completely not existing anymore, obviously. Important notice. This warranty applies only in products sold in New Zealand. What? What? That's unusual. All right, what's this thing? <laughs> now, when I do plug this in, I'm assuming it's going to work, but I really can't be putting it onto a radio station for obvious reasons. YouTube's going to be a bitch to me, all right? They're not going to allow me to make any money on these videos eventually, so I can't do that. And in some cases, the video will be blocked in certain countries depending on the song, all right? Yeah, there's like, oh, I don't know what that is. Have a look at this. Zooming in on the dirtiness, all right? <laughs> I don't know. There's like part bug particles on there. Goddamn cockroaches, huh? Anyway, let's go back. Let's officially do this. I kind of hope my nana's, uh, my, my nan and grandfather, Nancy and Arthur Brown, I kind of hope they're both watching uh, this from up above right now, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, look at this. This has never been opened. Ever, ever, ever been opened. Or has it? I don't think so. Anyway. Kind of want to wipe my fingers clean before I touch this because, I mean, this is immaculate. This is a, I mean, you know, a 30-year-old piece of technology that honestly has never been used by the looks of it. And, uh, I mean, it, you know those old pieces of technology that end up getting stained? Like permanently, like, it, like a, see my white PlayStation in the background? That's a bad example, but some pieces of white technology end up getting like a yellowish tinge uh, as years go by. This would have had a yellowish tinge had it been out in the, uh, in the air and all that kind of stuff, but I mean, it's been completely covered all of these years. Wow. There you go. For a 30 year old piece of technology, it actually looks pretty good. Smell test. There's definitely a smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's it is like a technology smell, but, but not, a, not a technology smell that we would smell today with new phones or something. There's definitely a new plastic smell. But once again, it's different. Mm. 
Yeah, 100%. There's this new technology smell, but it's a different smell that I've never smelled before. Or not for a long time, at least. You know when you unbox an, an iPhone or something like that, or a new computer? Th those really beautiful pieces of technology have a, have a very distinct smell or smells to them, right? I kind of like that. <laughs> Could be potentially cancerous, ca cancerous someday. I mean, hopefully not, right? But um, I kind of like the smell. Anyway, I'm a weirdo, apparently. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to plug this in right now. Why isn't that going down? Okay, got to push that in. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to undo this for the very first time. And then plug this in. There we go. I mean, imagine this thing blows up. I mean, that won't be exciting, but... I mean, hey, it'd probably get the views, I'm guessing. <laughs> Guy opens up 30-year-old piece of technology and almost kills himself. All right. There we go. Well, that's definitely in. Yeah, there's a weird feeling on that. I don't know. What is it? Like a greasy... Mm. It's just on the cord, though, because the cord was outside of the plastic. So, anyway. Let's plug this in. Moment of truth. This thing's getting power probably for the first time in its life. Is anything going to light up? How do we turn this thing on? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, so the, okay, so there's a, there's a tape, mono. Oh my god, it's bloody working. <laughs> If it starts to make music sounds, I'm going to have to change it, obviously, okay? Let's, um... Oh, okay, so there's mono. Check this out. Check this out. So there's mono. Okay, so tape. Mono. FM, I'm not really sure. Stereo. There you go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna tune something in, but once again, if it, if it plays something, I can't really have it on for too long. I'm gonna undo this right now. Let's leave it like this for a moment. You guys can actually see it. Okay. So this is the volume right there. I'm such a fucking juvenile. All right, let's continue. So there doesn't seem to be an automatic tuning function. What does this thing do? Tone. Tone. That's so strange. So this is the actual tuning bit. Shall we do FM? Let's do FM. Hang on. So there's... Gosh, this looks so brand new. AM, FM. Who... who oh, let's be honest. Who listens to AM these days? Come on. I understand you grew up with AM if you're an old person. But, you know, the, the sound quality is terrible. Switch to FM. Okay, come on. There's, there's, there's classic old songs on FM. Stop listening to AM, all right? It's terrible. You deserve better. You've lived your whole life listening to music, potentially. In your twilight years, listen to FM. You'll you'll appreciate yourself for... Right. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Wow. Let's go to the next one. But over the last 10 years, bro, have you been of the opinion that it is Paula who did the poop? Look, I have to be honest, I have believed... 
It 100% works. Mm. Now, I haven't got a tape to put in the tape player, but I will open it up in a second. Party was experienced was wow. good. Was that everyone? I don't know. How cool is that? It's part of the charm, I think. Is anyone still venting it? Is house party just a pandemic thing or is it all done? Are we. Pandemic thing. Quarter pound. Quickly change that one. For anyone wondering where I'm located, I'm located in Sydney, Australia, so this is quickly changing that. This is Sydney, Australia radio stations. Not one, not three, but two pieces. Wow. How cool. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly open up the actual tape thing. How do I do that? So look, have a look at this. So there's pause, eject. Oh my God, there we go. Fast forward, it's, it's fast forwarding, I can hear it. So that's, you're fast forwarding, rewind, play, and record. Wow, you can even record, that's awesome. It won't do it now though. It won't push, won't, won't do the record thing. There's also a beat thing here. Look at this. I'm going to quickly zoom in again. What exactly does this mean? I'm not really sure what that does. So AC battery operation. And uh, yeah, if anyone ha wanting to have a closer look at this, quick look at the back again. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to quickly open up the battery compartment to this thing. Let's see what's inside of this. Wow, look at that. Yeah, 100% that, that new smell, that new plastic smell. But it's a, like I said, it's a different kind of new plastic smell. I, I, you know, 30 year old new plastic smell, I don't know, but anyway. It looks like it takes D batteries. Is that right? Oh yeah, hang on, look at this. What does that say? DC nine volt UM dash sum one H two O water <laughs> or D cell six of them. So six D cells. That's interesting. I'm going to put this back on and then we're going to quickly show you inside the tape mechanism. And I'm guessing the tape thing obviously works because you know, it's basically fra factory brand new right now. Wow. That is really cool. I'm honestly probably going to take this over and and use it for, as a radio in my girlfriend's house. I'm probably going to do that. How cool is that? I'm going to change the camera angle. Oh, hang up. There we go. Oh, man. Once again, I know it's a boring product. It's a product that's clearly very old, but it has a unique story. My nan won it. And kept it and kind of forgot about it and uh, there we go here I am 30 years later or so unboxing this with my Nan's photos on the table I love you Nancy I love you Nana I love you Arthur Brown I love you granddad quick little thing I actually used to call my grandfather TikTok. now <laughs> I'm, I'm actually very serious about this that was actually his name that I I would call him for most of my uh, early years even as a teenager I'd call him TikTok. Now the reason I'd call him that is because they both had a lot of different clocks, old fashioned wind up clocks, these kind of clocks and battery operated clocks. And it would be his job to basically wind them up or put new batteries in, you know, even a cuckoo, did they have a cuckoo clock? I can't quite remember now. It's been, been a little while now, but it's been a minute or a million. All right. So it was his job to basically wind up the clocks, fix all the clocks. And that was everything. That was something I'd see every time I go over there to Newcastle on the train with my mum, because I live in Sydney, right? And uh, Newcastle is about three hour, about a three hour train trip away from from here. And uh, yeah, so I, I used to call him TikTok. But there we go. If you guys like this video, once again, we're on both of these channels. I like it. This one right now, but of course we also are on channel one, where once again we did 
this video. Liverpool, England, and my mum's history with John Lennon. Very interesting if you haven't seen it. A little sad at times. Those social medias, at Tallboy Gareth, like and subscribe. I've been tall. My name's Gareth, and I'll see you guys next week on Monday. I love you. I love you. Bye-bye.